she pop pee pop pee pop pee pop ke pa sa sa pa se what they do welcome to crime time news where the difference is in the meds first thing that is popping in the news the popo they have a whole bunch of questions to answer if this is how the station specifically Matilda's Corner Popo Station is run loosely. So therefore, just about anybody sane or insane can just walk into the facility, pick up the uniform of any sorts of random Popo, the shoes, the shirt, the button, and possibly even the Popo tool and just walk out with it. Now, people, I am going to put things in sequence and in the proper context. I am speaking about a video that has been circulating over social media close to Matilda's corner. I think the place is called Sandy Park. Don't quote me on the name. Some sorts of adjoining community. There's a video that is circulating in this video. A man can be seen in about the four or five o'clock in the morning. You know, say, a man in coming to light that. He was seen walking, strolling with some sorts of hammer, some sorts of board, and he was hitting the windshield and the back glass, damaging at least 12 windshield of 12 different cars. Needless to say, this is Jamaica. People don't ramp with their property. People don't ramp with them car. If you violate them, if you damage them car, they are going to want to damage you, whether you are of unsound mind, whether something not bother you, them not care. You will more than likely lose your life, unless, of course, you have that Usain Bolt speed. You can leave the place in a jiffy. So pretty much, the people them call down an alarm, and when them call down the alarm, the people them start chasing him lift up, left high knees, take away himself. He did not just take away himself, which is from the same neighborhood that he is from. I am going to speak about his mental issue further on in the news. Him run out of the community. However, the place that he ended up is the Matilda Scana Popo Station. Based on the report from the Popo, it is said that that is where he put on the shirt of an officer, the pants of an officer. Don't know if he kept his own shoes or him used the government boots. However, people, he was dressed like a popo officer and he was ready for duty. He was going to go on the street and conduct himself as an officer, law or lawless, sensible or senseless. Me not really know. So people, I am going to show you a video of when the officers realize that, listen, this man is not like one of us. Something is quite not the same. Let's check him out and see. So people, take a listen, take a look, and then I'll give my peace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now people, based on this video, this is Officer Nana, Nana Ed, Nana Sense reporting for duty. Obviously, I don't know he takes the Donna Lee case very seriously. And we've heard all sorts of people, some of them not as sensible as him, being advocate for Donna Lee. So maybe he is taking it personal. However, that is a story for a next day. Now people, the question I have to ask is this. Is that how the Paw Paw Station in a Jamaica run? Because I am familiar with Paw Paw Station in America. And you are lucky to get inside. If you now have to go through some sorts of metal detector. If you now have to do some sorts of ice scan. But just as I say, we would expect that since we are living in a very serious place called Jamaica, 
since the popo are on the list of high target people that these criminal elements would probably want to take out because they are on opposing polar opposite spectrum of the criminal network we would thought that these officers would have precautionary measures we would definitely expect that they would have taken proper security measures to safeguard their life safeguard their property safeguard people that are in there meaning the inmates whether they are sane or insane however people it seems as if the thing kind of loose what would have happened if that man went in the station found some sorts of tool found some sorts of magazine put one at the head select and clickety clickety pow some sorts of officer suppose officer lose him life and in return they make him lose a fame life what would happen what would people say now people hopefully this is not a reflection of all the poor poor station in a jamaica however i've been to a few and the few that i've been to i cannot say that their security measure is nothing more than this it is equal to on par or even worse than this so therefore if somebody actually have the heart actually have the guts or actually have no sorts of sense they could easily walk into this poor poor station and people this tells you why we've seen so many criminal elements people that are wanted for all sorts of crime that the poor poor took so long for catch they just walked out whether them have some sorts of key whether it is some sorts of obiration intervention or whether some sorts of politician in a some sorts of body body club with these criminals make a call and say open the gate free up prisoner a prisoner b the dan from dong ya so people me no know the only thing that i know is that some of these officers are lucky that this man did not find locate any sorts of tool and turn around and use it pan them in turn them turn around and use for them tool pan him people it could have turned out way way worse or than it turned out however let this be a message let this be a warning to all other officers all other poor poor station that you've been exposed it does not look good for the rest of us jamaican because if these are the person that are supposed to keep us safe and secure and they cannot safeguard themselves what is going to happen to us people this is a very bad reflection point blank and period now still on the topic of security being compromised i am going to show you a video of some sorts of commercial building in which there's all sorts of businesses however one of these persons were caught slipping they were attending to a next customer and had their laptop out in plain view for the public to see and when i speak about the public i am speaking about these thieves that are always roaming around jamaica looking out for unsuspecting victims and whenever they catch you slipping you are going to slide so people i am going to show you the security footage the cctv footage of that incident this is after the fact take a listen take a look and then i'll give my piece I'm not sure what 
people again a victim caught slipping in this video you could see that there is security cctv video set up over this building they had security manning the cctv however people the first line of security starts with you meaning that don't take anything for granted do not leave out what you don't or cannot lose never rub butter palm puss mouth and people i understand that as a legal law-abiding hard-working citizen of jamaica you are supposed to be able to be in your business place open your laptop use it as at will at your convenience however this is jamaica the new jamaica in this new jamaica it is like a jungle you have predators and you have prey if you are not a predator you could easily become a prey by just laying down careless you will get f-u-c-k you will lose your stuff you will lose your life so therefore Always be aware. Always be on your tippy toes. Always be looking out. Always remember. They are always looking out for that opportunity. And once they get that opportunity. Especially if it is given to them. Whether you are caught slipping or not. Them not care. Them just want to see the opportunity. And this is exactly what this man did. Because this is nothing new. These persons have been roaming around all sorts of plaza, all sorts of business establishment, commercial places. And they walk around, them peep through the window, them look through the door. Them just want to see nobody not dead or even if it's a little lady where them can just grab it from and push her down and take with themselves. However, the good thing is that these persons security they invested in proper security cctv cameras so at least the popo the people out there can see exactly who this person is i am sure that if he's your neighbor or somebody that you see or somebody that you know please to call the nearest popo station or crime stop and make them know say this post in their right here so I'm a neighbor, I'm a friend, I'm a boyfriend, I'm a girlfriend, whatever the case is. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos straight to the point, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. And last but not least, word to the wise. Whenever you are rising in life, there's always going to be a set of vipers that see your potential, realize that your ceiling is in the stratosphere. When they look at themselves because of their insecurity, because of their hate, they realize that persons appreciate them for who they pretend to be, which is who, which is not what they actually are, who they actually are. So therefore, for them to feel as if they are up, they are going to do everything in their means to bring you down. That is because of fear, point blank and period.